so we are given a spherical shell on which the surface charge density is varying as sigma naught cos theta so you can see that when theta is zero surface charge density is maximum here it's minimum when theta is 90 that will be zero on right half it's positive cos theta is positive and in left half it will be negative but the magnitude will be symmetrical this arrow represents that it's a 3d figure so just try and imagine in your mind by rotating rotating it about this axis and you will get a spherical shell which has this charge distribution now we need to show that such a charge distribution can also be represented as a result of a small relative shift of two uniformly charged balls so here let's say these are two balls and this has charge density of minus rho and this has plus rho so when they will overlap in the overlapped region charge will become zero because the densities are equal and opposite if you overlap them further and overlap them almost completely it's going to look something like this so we need to prove that on a structure like this charge distribution is similar to that of this shell so we need to prove that at any angle theta on this overlapped spheres also the sigma is going to be around k cos theta so k can be some other constant but we have to prove it's a function of constant into cos theta so we need to show that surface charge distribution of form sigma is equal to sigma naught cos theta on a shell a so this here is a shell is similar to that of a almost overlapping overlapping pair of similar uniform and oppositely charged solid spheres so, so first thing you can again this arrow again represents that you just in your mind you need to rotate it about this axis and you will get a 3d shell so i'm calling this also a shell because this part is very thin and inside there is nothing so you can qualitatively see that these are similar see here the charge density is more and here you can see that the thickness is a little bit more so here the charge is more in quantity here it's almost zero actually absolutely zero here also it's zero here it's negative charge and again maximum here and here also it's maximum negatively charged so on surface level we can see that they are they look to be similar but we need to mathematically prove that here also this, this surface charge density is a function of cos theta so understand this part clearly before moving forward to the mathematics part so you can pause and see that you understand everything on this page so here we have taken the two spheres again but this time i have left this gap a little bit wider so it's easier to see what's happening in reality this gap will be very very small so we need to prove that at an angle theta surface charge density is a function of cos theta so let's take an element here and it's a 3d figure so this element is cylindrical in nature so if you zoom this element will look like this now both the spheres are shifted by a distance a i mean not both relatively they are shifted by a distance a so clearly between any two horizontal horizontal points the distance is going to be a so don't get confused here that this distance is less so this is the radial distance that is less but horizontal if you take any two points between the two spheres the distance is going to be same and that is a the same distance which is between the centers so now let's zoom this cylinder so it's going to look like this so again inside is nothing we are only 
considering this shell part of it and on the shell we are considering an element which is a cylindrical shape so this length is a this horizontal length and this you can see this line is perpendicular so it will be like this this length of the cylinder let it be t the volume of the cylinder let it be dv and density let it be rho not let it be this is going to be rho because that is the rho of the both the spheres so on this side it is plus rho now we can think of this sphere as a coin something like a coin of very small thickness because in reality t is actually very small when they are almost overlap this with thickness of this cylinder is going to be very very less so now let's see the surface element so this is the volume element which can also be considered as surface element because t is very very less so for this surface element we can consider sigma which is surface charge density and area should be da so da is cross sectional area which is same for the cylinder and this coin thickness is also actually same the here also is t here also is t but it will be difficult for you to visualize that's why i have drawn it a little bit bigger here otherwise both of these are same elements so now for first and second case we are going to equate the charge because they are actually in reality same elements so charge on this element is same as charge on this element charge on one is rho dv charge on two is sigma da so dv is length into surface area so t into da and t is a cos theta so if this is a t is a cos theta so you will see da components will cancel out and you will get rho into a cos theta is equal to sigma or sigma is equal to rho a cos theta which is what we wanted to prove so hence proved that charge distribution of overlapping spheres is similar to that of a shell with surface charge density sigma is equal to sigma not cos phi so we have proven the first part here so this charge density we have proven that it is similar to that of an overlapping spheres now second part we need to prove not prove we need to find the electric field strength inside the given sphere so he is saying sphere what he means is this shell so inside this shell we need to find electric field now here if you want to find you need to take elements like this these rings and find small field de and then need to integrate it but we have already proven that this, this charge distribution is similar to this and from here we can find the field inside without any calculation let's see how so we have already proven that this charge distribution is similar to this so calculating field inside the shell using our derived result so sigma of shell is equal to sigma of overlapping spheres sigma of shell is given as sigma not cos theta and of overlapping spheres we calculated sigma is rho a cos theta so if the distribution is same then rho a is sigma not or rho is sigma not by a now if we have two overlapping spheres of opposite charge density but equal in magnitude then the field inside the cavity is constant and its value is rho a vector by 3 epsilon a vector is the vector between the two centers so from positive to negative this is the a vector so proof of this result is in the previous video in this list you can just check it there so it is a standard it's not a standard but we are going to use that result here so again if you have two overlapping spheres with charge density plus rho and minus rho and if the 
vector joining the two centers is a vector then the field inside the cavity is constant and it is rho a by 3 epsilon so here also the, uh, here in this case also we have overlapping spheres so field inside this sphere can be given as rho a by 3 epsilon or rho we can write as sigma naught by a times a vector by 3 epsilon a vector by a will just be unit vector so its magnitude becomes sigma naught by 3 epsilon which is our answer so what we have done magically here is we have calculated the field inside this shell without doing integration by comparing this charge distribution to that of an overlapping sphere and for an overlapping sphere we know that charge is the field inside is just rho a by 3 epsilon so we substitute the value of rho by comparing the two and got our answer sigma naught by 3 epsilon so it's a very good problem just watch the previous video also and watch this problem also lot of learnings here